All right, lights are out. We'll go green next time by. David Turner on the point. 25 laps for the Legends. Pace car is on pit road. Good racing up front. Lily to the inside of Reeves. Jackson going to try to follow him through. Kevin Yates off the pace of the 27. Yates off the pace and will head for pit road. Yates comes to a stop. Don't see a lot of activity around the race car and guess that he'll be done for the night. Lilly in the 72, Jackson in the 87 at the point right now. Jackson with a good run up the back straightaway. Can't make the pass into three, but he's got some time. He can be patient. See the hood off and they're working on Yates car, but again, without any real flurry of activity, he'll be done for the night. on some lap cars here and that may be where Jackson wants to do his work. Drove it real hard in the corner, had to get it wooed down. Worked to the outside of Wigglesworth there in turn three. In the pit area, late models. Late models up next. And caution on the speedway there in turn number four. Get the car refired. Should be a quick one here with 10 to go. Late models up next. Late models. For Judy Don Levy owned machines, Bill Dennis got the first one. 1971 at what was then known as the Richmond Fairgrounds Raceway. And then in 1987, the spring race at Darlington, Ken Schrader put the 90 machine on the pole. 
Junior Don Lilly was great for young and new drivers coming up, both Schrader and Ridley, Rookie of the Year drivers when they raced for Junie Don Levy. So we remember Junie Don Levy tonight, and we do it the best way we know how, with good short track racing here at Southside Speedway. Good restart for Lilly. Reeves pushing there in the 2R, but Jackson says, I'm not wasting any time, goes to the bottom, going to try to make the pass here with 10 to go. Lily right there, not gonna let him get away. And a little breathing room. You know, on a hot night at the racetrack, nothing cools you down with like slushies from the cool zone. Slushies on sale down there in the cool zone. If you're still warm this evening, and it is still a warm, muggy night, pop down to the concession area, get yourself a slushie and a lemonade. Get one of each and cool down here tonight. Next time by, just five to go. Tell you what. Lily is not letting Jackson get away here. Maybe a car length and a half as they roll into three. And caution, turn number two, Brandon Wigglesworth bringing out the caution. We were saying just as we went back to green there, Wigglesworth bringing out the caution, that five machine. Best Granite, that's Brazilian Best Granite. Pepsi, the official soft drink of Southside Speedway. And thank you to Crossroads Trailer Rentals, rental of storage trailers and trailers for all your big truck needs. And don't forget to check out VADealer.com. A well, thank you tonight to 93-1 The Wolf and to Richmond International Raceway for being part of our events tonight. And one more time, a big thank you to Joe and Ruth Kelly hosting our pre-race activities tonight as we go back to green off turn number four. And caution, we'll try it one more time. In fact, folks, let's give a round of applause. Cone Man, excellent job tonight. Clap for him, folks. He's powered by your applause. Cone Man, keep the cone closer. You won't have to run so far. Oh, it's an alternate cone. There we go. Here we go one more time. They'll look for two to go this time by. Final time, he'll roll up the back straight away. Looking for a clean three and four to pick up a win and extend his points lead. Tommy Jackson Jr. headed for victory lane.
Tommy Jackson Jr. with the checkered flag going to make a lap. All right. Donuts for you in turn number one. Give him just a second. He'll be able to hear you folks. Late models fire up on pit road. They're getting ready to roll out here next. But right now, in victory lane, Tommy Jackson Jr. I'll tell you what, that's one of those nights you, you battle, you get the lead, and then it seems like there's 850 cautions behind you. Yeah, you know, I was hoping to just go green flag so I could just stay out front and drive my line. But uh, everybody that ran a great race, Lily was really consistent. Our car really just wasn't as good as we wanted it to be today. But uh, you know, I got to thank all my guys that made the ride just set to practice to get it as good as we could get it, and uh, all the fans for coming out. All my sponsors, Little G.I. Joe's, Military Surplus, uh, Extreme Mechanical Services, Rent Roll, Custom Wheels, my spotter and crew chief, Andy Graham, uh, my dad, everything he does for me, all my, my great family that comes out. But, uh, you know, a great race. We're going to have fun with these guys at Shenandoah tomorrow, see if we can capture us one up there against all the same people. I don't think they'll be too happy about that. But uh, I look forward to it. You know, great night all around. Good job, man. Tommy Jackson, Jr. said it all in victory lane. 